so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically save a component of this Patreon page and I'm going to basically copy this UI and see if this tool is going to be able to kind of replicate it in the same type of manner by creating the buttons as well as like the banner. So I have now dragged it in. I'm going to see if it's going to be able to replicate it. So obviously if I'm on the desktop view, it's going to be a little bit easier to replicate it, but you can see that slowly working. It's hardest to replicate that same Patreon page. It's going to be able to replicate the same color, the same settings that was there. It's going to be able to put in the welcome note. And obviously afterwards you can configure it. So we can see that it is swayed to the left curve, but you can have it aligned for the middle curve. And this is something that you can do at the end, but you can see it does a great job in replicating that Patreon page. Previously, we have seen screenshots of code, text to code, and now today, we're going to be seeing something quite similar to these two projects. Introducing OpenUI. This is the ideal tool for building UI components quite easily with the help of AI. Now, we all know that building UI components can be a slog. This is where OpenUI aims to make the process a bit more fun, faster, as well as more flexible. It's also a tool that uses W and B, and this is the test and prototype new generation tooling for building powerful applications on top of LLMs. Now, just take a look at this demo video. In this demo, we're going to see that open UI is going to let you describe the UI using your imagination. So it's like basically rendering your text prompt into a UI component, which is really great to see. It actually renders it live and you can ask it to change and convert it to HTML, to React, as well as other components. As in, you can see over here that it starts off with a prompt. You can play around with it on the desktop version or you can play around with it on iPad or your phone. So let's, you can see that on the bottom, you can even chat alongside with it so that you can even edit and configure it as you're building the UI components for it. So you can see that there's a couple of examples and this is something that we're actually gonna take a look at throughout today's video. We're gonna explain how you can get started, showcase the capabilities and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at OpenUI. This is something that you can actually access on the cloud as they have a cloud demo set up. You're also going to be able to download this locally as well as set this up using Docker. It's quite easy to do so and it's something that we'll take a look at. But in simple terms, this is a way for you to create different UI components and it makes the process a little bit more enjoyable as well as a little bit more efficient. Now with open UI, you can build all these components in no longer in uh, like I would say a sluggish manner. It's something that you can do with a single prompt. You can edit and chat alongside with it. You can work with different like languages. You can see that you're able to effortlessly translate your HTML design into React as well as web components with OpenUI. And this is something that we'll take a look at as you go further into the video. So in this case, if you want to try this demo, I'm going to leave this link in the description below, but you're also going to be able to run it locally, which I'll show the installation as we go later into the video. But for the demo, let's actually take a look at this and actually try it out. So I'm going to describe a UI, but in this case, I'm going to first start off with examples because it'll be a little bit faster. So in this case, this is a prompt that I'm going to be giving it. I need a user profile card with an avatar name and social media links to Tailwind CSS. And we can see that it does it within a couple of seconds. This is something that will 
be like configurable as you chat alongside with the AI to edit it. And it's going to take a couple of seconds until it finishes loading up. Now you'll notice one thing that once it has finished generating, it will then ask you for changes to the current UI. You can change the size, you can change the color. So for example, change the color to, uh, let's say gray. And let's see if it's able to do that within a couple of seconds. And we can see it was able to change that bottom footer or yeah, you can say footer to gray. Let's take a look at another example where we can ask it to generate a contact form with the name, email, message fields, as well as a send button with validation uh, styles. So we can see that it's able to do it within a couple of seconds. And you can see that afterwards, if you like the code, you can obviously just copy this code, go into VS Code, for example, or even your cloud deployment setting. And you can even paste this widget in so that you can use the same format that was created and you can export it into other widgets. So this basically allows you to have it so that this streamlines the process of deploying the code from this app to another app quite easily. Now you can see that there's also JSX, so you can even try it out and you can even add other things so that you can convert, convert it to React. You can have all these other options as well as web components. Let's take a look at another example, which is to design a to-do list app interface with task check boxes. And I didn't read the last part and we can see that it was able to do it within a couple of seconds. I'm going to ask it, change the background to white, please. So it's easier to read. And once I sign, send this prompt in, it's going to be able to change it in. So I have the dark setting on, but if I was to change it, you can see that it is white and you can even add new task. And you can see that it has created this to-do list. And this is just something that's quite remarkable. And with the help of AI, you can see that this would be really useful for a lot of people who are trying to develop any sort of web page within a couple of minutes. This is a tool that you would use and help you. It would help you develop the code so that it makes it a little bit more fun for you to develop as well. It's a little bit easier. Now, one cool feature I was just playing around with is this button over here. If you are to click on it, you can see that it basically says that comment on the elements in the HTML. So comment on whatever element you see that you want to edit and it will basically main, make changes deliverably to that specific component that you're highlighting. So in this case, if I'm highlighting on the to-do list, I can just simply click on this and I can add a change to it. So I can say that change this title to world of AI's to do list and then I can just simply click enter and it's going to change it within a couple seconds and you can see that it has fully generated to the comment that I gave it and this is a really cool to that you can basically implement as well as change the certain things in your component so if you would like to add or change certain things you can easily just click on this thing and then change it rather than changing the code for the whole component now you can see that you can change the view of this so you have a desktop view you have an iPad view or a tablet view, and then you have a phone view. So this would be really useful for people who are de like developing a front end, like an e-commerce store, for example, for the phone, for the tablet, as well as for the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically save a component of this Patreon page, and I'm going to basically copy this UI and see if this tool is going to be able to kind of replicate it in the same type of manner by creating the buttons as well as like the banner as well as these other categories that are listed so let's see if it's actually able to do this so i'm gonna just quickly save this somewhere randomly and then i'm gonna go back into the app i'm gonna upload it wherever i saved it so let's see where i actually did this so i have now dragged it in i'm gonna see if it's gonna be able to replicate it so obviously if I'm on the desktop view, it's going to be a little bit easier to replicate it, but you can see that slowly working. It's hardest to replicate that same Patreon page. It's going to be able to replicate the same color, the same settings that was there. It's going to be able to put in the welcome note. And obviously afterwards you can configure it. So we can see that it is swayed to the left curve, but you can have it aligned for the middle curve. And this is something that you can do at the end, but you can see it does a great job in replicating that Patreon page. This is just absolutely amazing to see. It's utilizing different large language models to do this. And it basically has the code generated based off of the different 
uh, like large language models that are provided. And it uses multimodal large language models in terms of like the vision capabilities to observe what is happening on the page and tries to replicate the code for it. And you can see that the code is fully functional. You can simply just copy this and you can then export it anywhere else. Now, this is the capability of OpenUI. There's a lot more to this, so I truly recommend that you take a look. But briefly going over running it locally, it's quite easy. You're going to need to make sure that you have Git, which is an application that lets you clone this. You're going to also need to make sure that you have pip as well as an OpenAI API key. So once you have those things ready, you can then move forward with the installation. Once you have done that, you can simply just copy this command. Go into your command prompt, paste it in. Once you have cloned the repo, go into the folder, the directory of the open UI backend. And once you are in the backend, you can then simply just type in this command pip install dot. Once that is done, you need to set your API key. So if you're on Mac OS, you would want to use the export command. But if you're on Windows, you would just simply use slash set and then your open AI API key and then you can just fill it in after in this X area and then you can just start up by a simple Python command and you're going to be able to like basically access it on your local host. It's easy as that guys and it's super simple. Now if you're wondering how you can build it and run it on Docker, you can definitely do so with the commands over here. It's super easy. You can simply just copy this and you can build it quite easily. And this is something that I'm actually going to be working closely with. I want to keep on tracking this project because it's something that is fairly new it was just developed within a couple days ago not a lot of people know about it i published a little like uh post about it which is something that would basically give it a lot more views but hopefully this video puts more spotlight on it because it's truly something that i recommend that you check out it's going to make a lot of engineers as well as software developers lives a little bit easier with the deployment of this so definitely check this out if you haven't already make sure you check out the patreon page this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free definitely check it out you get consulting networking opportunities a lot of resources on a daily basis and so much more make sure you check out my twitter this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.